Hi, welcome back my dear student. In this lecture here we're going to be learning about access modifiers or access control modifiers and these are just a, a special keywords in PHP uh, that we use in order to control the flow of our programs. All right? They are public, private and protected. All right? So let's go ahead and, cre and create something that, so that way we can see how it works. All right? So uh, let's go ahead and do a save as. I'm just going to do a save as on this one here, I guess. Let's just find another one that has more properties. I think uh, the class inheritance has more properties. I'm going to choose that one, all right? So let's do a save as here on class properties and let's call this class access.php. All right. All right. And this function here. I'm just going to change it a little bit. All right. So I took that off and I'm going to also take all this off here. Perfect. So we are good to go. So here in order for, for us to, to create some modifiers, we need to um, change this keyword here for something like public. So we can make this this basically what public means is that this variable, this property can be used throughout this whole program, right? Can be used anywhere in the script. Now, if I wanted to make this only available to this class, I would put the private keyword in front of it, all right? And there is another one also called protected. The protected is only available inside this class and inside any subclasses. Like when you do a, an inheritance, when you do an extends like this, it will be available here. All right. So let's go back to class access. There we go. Here, what I want to do is let's just change this to wheel count, door count, seat count. All right. And I'm just going to put two seats here. All right. So let's go ahead and create some something so we can see it. This and let's print this out here. This will count right there. Let's do a couple more. And let's just change the name here, door. And this, this would be seat, not set. I just saw it right now. There we go. All right. So when I call this car detail method, we're going to see something here, depending exactly if this is going to show, right? So let's do an echo here. Let's say echo BMW. Wheel count. So let's see if this works, right? So let's go back. Let's go to our right here. Oops. Right there. There we go. Class axis. And we got an error there in 17. Let's just check it out real quick. There we go. Forgot to put the semicolons here when I do the copy and paste. Let's fix that. Come back here again and refresh. Now we can see we get that, right? So that's available, right? We are outside the class right now. And that is available. What happens when we try to see the door count there? Let's just copy this one and comment that out. And let's do the door count. Let's go back, refresh and cannot access private property. You see that? That's not available because it's a private. It's only available inside a class. So let's comment this out and paste it here. And let's see if the seat count is available. Refresh. Cannot access protected property. You see that's not available. Now, they are all available inside the class. So I can call all of them inside this class. So for example, if I go and call this BMW, then call the uh, car detail method. 
detail right here like this actually car not cart there we go and I go refresh we can all see all of them there so they are all available inside the class but private is only for inside the class and protect is only inside uh, subclasses or the class itself all right so keep that in mind and again now this is not for security purposes that we do this we do this to control the flow of our programs how we design our programs all right later on when you learn a little bit more about how you design your your programs in uh, with php and audio oriented programming you are going to be uh you're going to notice what we use it for all right so it's basically just best practice to do this like this you have more control over your programs on what the things what they do inside a class and what they do outside it's more about controlling how everything works the flow of it all right so anyway, thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you were able to understand how this access modifiers work. And um, I see you in the next lecture. Take care.